Good morning, Taurus. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your Tarot Reader today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? Alright, so Taurus, this is going to be your monthly reading. Not all messages will resonate, but take or resonate and leave the rest behind. For that being said, Taurus, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. One more. One more. I'm feeling one more. Sorry about that. Sorry about the delays. Let's divide up the deck. So today we'll be using the Rider Waite deck, the Moonology deck, and these runes that I have beside me. So Taurus, at the bottom of the deck you have the Empress. So that means that you are really feeling like yourself uh, during the month of May, which is really good. So let's see what other cards you guys got. Alright, let's get them all laid out. Then we'll see what you got for your ruins. And then we'll see what you got for your rest for the rest of your cards. Oh my god. Here we go. Shake it up. Oh. Okay, that's too many. Drop. Alright, never mind. It's not too many, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so you have opening up joy, which is the P. You have growth, which is a B. And then you have movement, which is an M. <laughs> so, during this time, you could be wanting to open up or needing to open up and be less guarded. Uh, maybe you're constantly over-preparing for stuff and it's not really getting it, getting you anywhere and it's kind of feeling like a bit of a burden for you. But at the same time, you are loving yourself because you are the Empress, which is awesome. Um, and you're going to be really happy. It's Whatever you're doing in the month of May, you it's going to help grow you and move you in the right direction towards, you know, happiness and success. Maybe it, it maybe before um before May starts, you're going to be feeling a bit of a lack. Like you don't like the harvest that uh you, ha, you well, what? <laughs> All right. There's something about the harvest that you didn't like about it. And during the month of May, you'll be seeing your harvest. You'll be seeing your the plants that you've sown a while back. And they're gonna, just going to be like flowing with joy and happiness and success. And you're just going to be overwhelmed and happy um, with the amount of growth that has taken place. This could also be the growth of how much you have grown since the last time you have checked in on yourself. Like, obviously, we're with ourselves all the time, but sometimes we kind of get so focused on work and everything that we got to do that we don't check in on ourselves and make sure that we are good, that we are in the right place. Um, but yeah, let's see what other cards you guys got. So you got the Ace of Wands, you have the Hanged Man in the Upright, and you have the Hierophant. So... You will be needing to make some sort of decision um, in the month of May. It could either help you move forward or it could hinder you and make you feel stuck. Obviously, the progress that you made will always stay. But in order to move forward, you're going to need to take action towards something. Um, so you're going to be left... In, with a fork in the road so you're either gonna go left right left whatever <laughs> all right here we go here we go let's see what other cards you guys got all right so there could be some sort of fight that you are dealing with and maybe you have to break it up um, but it does look like there will be some sort of victory so if you are the one fighting it does look like you are going to be winning in this fight um, and it may even help you move forward in the direction that you want to go in and help you move towards your happiness. I do see there being an equal give and take, or you may be giving a lot more than you are receiving. You may end up letting go of that situation later on in life, but right now it seems like you're going to be giving to the situation rather than taking, and yeah. But when it comes to financial situations for the month of May, it looks pretty good. You're going to be taking action. Oh, I didn't talk about the Two of Wands. Well, basically the Two of Wands is you not wanting 
to wait for anything. You're not waiting for your ships to come in. You're just moving forward. You're doing what you got to do. You're not waiting for anyone to come talk to you and tell you what to do. You're just doing your own thing. So, and that makes sense. And it's going to lead you to success. It's going to lead you to victory. And, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. And, yeah. All right, so let's see what you got for your Moonology cards. So these are going to be your advice cards for the month of May. All right, cool, 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 cool. Wow, I can't believe it's already April. Well, it's actually almost May, <laughs> but um, wow. This year has gone, gone by so quickly. It's, we're not even halfway done with the year yet, and it's just like, wow. Just flew by, just like that. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. So for the energies that I see, I see Gemini for one. Um, <laughs> I see Libra. I see Taurus, Virgo, and uh, there's one more, Leo, Leo, all right, and then you have hard work is, your hard work will be paying off, so yeah, it whatever it is that you are working hard on, it's going to pay off, you're going to get the victory that you desire, communication may be key. So you may be talking to people, people may be talking to you, you could be dealing with a Gemini or Capricorn or any of the other signs that I said earlier. Um, but either way, you may need to open up to someone and just communicate how you feel and make the decision to either move forward with them, tell them how you feel, or leave them. You know, you got to figure out what you want to do because it seems like you're really stuck, you're not sure what to do in the month of May. Um, even though you're taking action, you're moving forward, you're growing, but you may be stuck on a few things. So just during the month of May, it looks really good for you. You're going to be working hard, you're going to be talking, you're going to be growing, and as long as you're not fully in the hanged man position, you're going to be good. So don't put yourself in a position where you're constantly giving to someone rather than, you know, an equal give and take you know make sure it's very equal and yeah so I think that's all I got to say for a Taurus I hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading if you did please like comment and subscribe I know it's a bit of a quick one but Taurus uh, namaste I'll see you guys next time peace I'll see so if you would like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter the links will be down in the description below if you want to check out any of my other videos you can go on my channel and you know scroll down the videos or you can look at those pop-up videos and check out what uh, YouTube has you know for you guys all right so I'll see you guys next time